Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss content filtering in Amazon Event Bridge event patterns. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have discussed how to use event bridge in your data pipeline that can be used for scheduling purpose or you can trigger a particular pipeline when some particular AWS service state will change. Maybe for example, one EC2 is running in production and due to some issues, the running state is changing to stopping or stopped or terminated something. Then and there, you should notify the developer team or admin team. So those kind of automation, automatic alert functionality in the pipeline, you can add using this event bridge component, right? And now in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can send event from Lambda to event page. Okay. That is using Boto3 client. Okay. And using that, if some rule is matched, then only we will trigger another Lambda function. Okay. Based on the event pattern. Okay. Right. So this particular POC I am going to discuss. So for this particular discussion purpose, I am just using the, this particular documentation for Boto3 client for event page. Okay. So as you can see here, clearly description given Amazon event page helps you to respond to state change in your Amazon web service resources when your resource change state, then automatically send event to an event stream. Okay. You can create rules that matches the selected events in the stream and route them to target to take action. You can also use rules to make action on predetermined scheduled using corn job or date. Okay. Right. So all these things you can do. Okay, now I will uh, use this particular one. See simple tool and code import Boto3 and then we are creating the uh, client for event page using this uh, Boto3 dot client events. And if you, once you create the client, then you can use this particular one that is put event. Okay, so to put some event in the created event page. So this is the code which you can use. So time basically indicate the timestamp. Okay. Instead of making this kind of hard coded value, you can put the current timestamp whenever you are putting the rule, right? Then source. So what is source? Source should be a string. Okay. So you can put any particular custom string here. Okay. That is basically indicating the source of the event. Okay for easily understanding purpose then resource okay what is resource basically resource you can specify due to which part the particular event is getting triggered like for example due to a particular ec2 state change if that event is getting triggered then ec2 arn or amazon resource name you can put in resource section but currently we are using aws lambda so not that much required this resource part but anyway it will be a string value detail type here you can put the detail uh, in uh, custom string format then detail here basically this will contain the event information whatever you want to pass or put to event bridge event then event pass name in which event pass you want to put this particular event so that it will match the rule and it will trigger some other event by pipe, event based pipeline okay so that event pass arn you need to put here okay so basically event bridge is sub part of event pass. So I think you have already studied pass concept in your computer architecture course while studying BTEC, right? What is that? That is nothing but uh, a communication system that transfer data between components inside computer, right? Similarly, event pass is nothing but you can consider that as a communication system connecting different AWS service component. And trace header is related to basically X-ray, which is used for debugging purpose. Like an X-ray trace header, which is an HTTP header that contains the trace ID associated with the event. For the time being, you no need to explore uh, this particular parameter much. Later, you can do that. Okay. You can just put any custom string here also. So that's pretty much it. Now, without any further delay, I will go to AWS Management Console. And then first step, I'll be going to IAM. Okay. So to put the event in the event pass, we need to give the permission for the lambda right so i will be going to create rule okay so here i'll be choosing lambda okay i'll be going to next permission and then as the first step i will be giving cloudwatch okay so here cloudwatch full access is required right cloudwatch full access and then here i will search event okay Event bridge full access if it is there 
event it, amazon event bridge full access okay right i'll be going to next tax next preview okay event bridge demo yt lambda okay so here i will create this particular rule okay so as part of this particular architecture what we are going to do lambda we are going to create one publisher lambda which will put the event in event bridge and then this is our subscriber lambda so two lambda will be there okay so here i'll be going back to my aws management console i'll be going to lambda and then here i'll be going to create function author from scratch okay and here lambda event bridge yt demo okay so for this particular discussion purpose i am using python 3.9 and execution role i will change to this particular one what we just now created that is event bridge demo yt lambda okay once choosing that create the function okay right so here our function is created now this is our basically uh, publisher lambda right and then here i will be creating one subscriber lambda as well okay so here i will be going to create function author from scratch okay here subscriber lambda second one okay so even bridge will trigger this one so i am just giving default permission and then here i am creating the function okay right So it will take some time to create this let us wait for that okay right so this is created okay now i will complete the code part so import json import boto3 okay for our first lambda and then here i will create the client also or maybe i'll be copying pasting from here if i go to the top here basically this port snippet is given right so here if i go below here is the code i'll be copying this one okay and then here i'll delete all this paste that here okay right so once it is created we are done and now we need to put the event okay so for that i'll be going to the documentation and here put events i'll be going and i'll be copying this particular piece and then here in lambda i'll be deleting this i'll be pasting that here and then finally we will return the response okay let me put that here and then here I will return response. Okay, right. And then here instead of time, I will be doing date time dot date time dot now. Okay, so that current timestamp will be displayed, and here I will be giving import date time. Okay, right. And here some values we need to change. So source is basically publisher lambda okay resource part is not required but i hope you already know what is the importance of this resource while discussing the event bridge uh, poc with ec2 state change notification that time i told you right that is ec2 uh, uh, ern we have to put or maybe if cloudwatch alarm you are putting then cloudwatch alarm name also you can put okay detail type okay so here i can give like uh, uh send event from first lambda okay and detail okay so here we need to put the message okay maybe what we can do we will be putting the event whatever is triggering this lambda okay so here we'll be putting event but this should be one string right so it generally event is basically kind of dictionary type so if you con want to convert that to string all you need to do json dot dumps okay it will convert that dictionary or json element to string type okay event pass name so here we need to put the event pass in string value trace header um, i can give normal name demo psboc proof of concept and event pass so here we need to create the uh, event pass if also okay so here i will be going to event amazon event bridge okay and then here i'll be going to event buses and then here i'll be going to create bus okay demo yt lambda poc okay and without changing anything else i will create this okay right so this is basically our resource name i'll be copying that and i'll be putting that in this particular place 
for our publisher lambda okay right so it will put the event here as soon as this first lambda or publisher lambda will be triggered okay right now by default what it will do it will send all the events from here to the event bridge okay here comma is there i will remove this comma and i will deploy that again right now see we want to put some filter condition okay that is whenever lambda will be triggered it will be trying to put some event in the event page but it will not trigger the second lambda always once the rule is satisfied whatever we will specify then only it will trigger the second lambda okay so we need to do that kind of functionality so that i will be going back to my event bridge and here i will be going to rules okay so first i need to choose our event bus which we just now created okay and then here we will click on create rule okay so rule name what i can do rule name i can give as demo testing yt okay right description if you want you can put event pattern so uh, as i have discussed that you can use some predefined event pattern by aws service or if you want you can choose custom one so i am going to use custom one so i am choosing this particular one and then here maybe i can search for uh, custom event uh, pattern event bridge okay if i search that here i am getting aws documentation i'll be opening that and then here i will be getting this okay see here the following event pattern process all amazon ec2 instance termination state okay that is state equal to terminated so detail so this is the key okay so i'll be copying this particular piece and then here i'll be pasting that here okay source no need to give detail type no need to give i'll be deleting this too for this custom one only a uh, detail part i want to give okay so see if you observe in the first code here we are putting detail okay so this is our message whatever we are sending so that same key basically it will try to match okay maybe in the incoming event whatever is triggering our first lambda there we are checking location key okay if lo that location is part one then only the event page should trigger the second lambda also okay right so this kind of code we can write and we can click on save okay and then here uh, let it be so here target i will be choosing our second lambda basically this one subscriber lambda second that is this particular one where we have written almost no code okay and then here we can create the rule okay right so always what will happen as per this particular automated setup that if the location is part one in our incoming message then only this particular event bridge will trigger the second lambda okay and maybe here we can uh, return uh, print the event also in the second lambda okay so print event and let's delete this one and we will deploy this okay so currently see in this particular one event which uh, trigger is not added maybe you need to refresh this page once then it will be showing actually in the back end it is added so see here event bridge cloudwatch event is added right so we are almost all set now what i will do i will be going back to my first lambda okay now we'll be going to test and then here in this particular these will be three key values whatever we'll be sending to our first lambda while testing we'll be just adding location okay so location is basically i'll be putting bar one okay so i'll be putting bar one and then here i'll be click on test okay right so see here it is successful okay it just send the notification now we need to go to our second lambda and we'll go to monitor section and then here view logs in cloudwatch will click okay we'll see that whether from first lambda via event bridge the second lambda is triggered or not see just now okay 21 11 this is now 9 12 pm almost same time right I'll just click on that and here you will see that here this particular details are coming and if you see the detail key okay see here key 
one value one key two value two location is part one. So because the location is matching whatever we have kept in our rule, that's why it is coming. Suppose for example in the first lambda while testing, I am putting some other value that is for instead of part one. I suppose I am putting Kolkata. Okay, and then if I click on test, okay, now see it is again successful. But if I go to CloudWatch logs for the second one, okay, let us refresh this, and then if I click on this particular log only, here you will see no more entry is coming. The only reason is that event bridge rule will not allow to pass that particular event, right? Because we have given the condition in the rule that if this location is part one, then only it should pass. Okay. Suppose location Kolkata also you want to pass, you just need to modify this event pattern. So I will be going to edit and then here instead of using only part one, I will be editing this rule. And if you want to put all kind of condition that is location is either part one or Kolkata, just put here Kolkata. Okay. Kolkata. Right. And here I'll be saving this particular one. Okay. And then here I will click on update. Right. So once it is updated, now see without anything change, I will just test this event once more. Okay. Now this time it should be sending the logs to CloudWatch. Okay. So here we might not see. We need to go to one level up and then refresh this particular one. So Okay, here only it is it should come. Let's see. Okay. Yep, see here just now this is 9 13, 9 14 pm. Just now it came. If I just make this bigger, see location Kolkata is coming, right? So this is how. You can basically set and play with custom rules in event bridge. Okay. Multiple things you can place in this particular event pattern. I'll be posting one documentation link where you can explore different event patterns. Okay. So anyway, the main concept I hope you understood how to send event uh, using Boto3 client to event bridge from AWS Lambda and based on rules, how it will trigger some other AWS service also. Okay, so this kind of serverless pipeline you can build using event bridge. So kind of acting like SNS only, but it is much more powerful than SNS actually because event bridge has lot of subscriber options more than much more than SNS. Okay, not only that in SNS, the message filtering we can put in the metadata level, not in the actual message. But as you have seen here, we have given the uh, event pattern in the message level that in the detail is the key and it is taking whether in message this particular value is there or not. So like that kind of advanced things which SNS has some restriction that you can achieve using event bridge. Okay. So this is all for my this video. I'll be providing all the related course whatever I have written here in the description box or in the comment section. So if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos. Thank you.